Hey guys, and welcome on into PDK's latest live broadcast. We're really excited that you guys are here today. Uh, we're really excited to talk to you guys all about PDK. We've got a really fun uh, show for you today. We're going to be talking all about, uh, A, who PDK is, because there's a lot of you who are on this broadcast who are new and don't know much about PDK. So we're going to get you guys all acquainted with PDK, who we are, what we're all about. We're going to be talking about our Pro Data Key app. We're going to be talking about new features, new products, and even new integrations. So we're really excited about it. Uh, but before we go ahead and dive into everything, I want to introduce myself. I am Brock Benson. I am the Director of Marketing over here at PDK. And sitting next to me here is Dallin Labram. He's the VP of Sales and Support over here. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, I guess we're really excited to have, uh, have you guys here today. Yeah, we are excited. And before we start, you guys can probably guess, I begged Brock to give me just a little bit of time to talk about who PDK is and what we love and what we do. It's, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be partner fanaticism. Partner fanaticism, <laughs> where have we heard that before, right? That's what PDK is all about, right? Yeah. We're partner fanatics here. Everything sure. we do, everything we do, whether it's in sales, whether it's in development engineering, we are trying to make the most intuitive and effortless access control, full security solution, integrate with all the top tier products so that our partners can thrive. That is literally what we do. That is what we focus on. That is what we think about when we set prices. That is what we think about when we create new products. That is what we think about when we create new software. That's right. That's right. So we're going to actually go ahead and show you guys a little video that talks a little bit more about who PDK is, what we're all about. But one other thing that I want you guys to know is that this is completely live, right? This is uh, as if we screw up, you're going to see it live. You can comment on uh, to us on the chat. As you can see, I've got that chat open up live right here on my iPad. So if you guys have questions, go ahead and post those there in the chat. We're going to be able to get you guys taken care of. Uh, we're going to save all the Q&A for the very end. So be sure to bring those questions in, though, because we want to answer them and we want to get everything taken care of. Uh, so make sure you do that. But, uh, guys, without further ado, let's learn a little bit more about what PDK is all about. C3 Industries is a vertically integrated multi-state operator. We hold licenses in uh, cultivation, manufacturing, processing, wholesale distribution, and retail. Security is needed at C3 because compliance is paramount in how we operate and what we do in every state that we operate in. Um, we are held to specific rules and regulations of each state and uh, security is highest on the list in order to stay compliant within each state. Door schedules are important throughout the facility because we need to control access of certain employees that move throughout the building. Uh, per state regulations, there's secure and limited access areas that certain employees are allowed to go into and then certain other ones are not. Uh, it also helps to prevent diversion and theft, which we hope does not happen in the facilities, but we all know it does sometimes. Since PDK is C3 standard, they do the core programming and we set up uh, the initial system. C3 actually uses uh, another integrator uh, in another city to manage all of their sites. So once we implemented PDK here, we assigned the administrative role to them and they manage all of C C3 sites. So they can use different integrators like us that are local for implementation and they have their centralized uh, staff to manage it uh, ongoing. One of the reasons that uh, C3 likes using PDK is uh, the ease of accessing remotely and uh, the ability to also do administration remotely. I love the Pro Data Key app. It's very versatile. Uh, it really allows for much more controllability uh, as far as the facilities go, especially as multi-state operators. A lot of times uh, something needs to be handled in one state when a lot of the people that are in charge are in a different location. One of my favorite parts of the Pro Data Key app is that I have door control at the touch of my fingertips. Uh, a lot of times in a 100,000 square foot facility, you can forget your keys in one area and instead of having to go all the way back, I can open any of the doors, unlock the doors, control the access, run reports uh, right from my phone. I love PDK and the Pro Data Key app for its versatility. Uh, it allows us to be mobile. Um, it really puts our minds at rest when we can't be in the physical locations and we can see what's going on with the limited access. Uh, 
the controllability is paramount to anything that I've ever seen. Um, and we trust PDK with our product and our business every day. Man, Brock, I think that there's only one word to describe the production value of that video, and that word is high. Maybe even very high. Well, I, I can't take all the credit here. That was uh, that was definitely uh, work that was put together by me and our producer, Jordan. So you might say that that was a joint effort. Yeah, and talk about the caliber of our partner, C3, also very high. <laughs> so C3 is a, uh, as you can see, they're a cannabis cultivator that we actually just went out to St. Louis and uh, filmed a new case study uh, all about their operation. You know, they're, they're spread throughout the country. They've got multiple locations all over the place. And as you heard in the video, they've got over 20 different locations that have PDK on it. And because of the pro data key app, they are able to manage every one of those sites, wherever they're at, right? That AJ who's in that video, he's on the go. He's all over the place. That guy has a million and a half sky miles flying from location to location, but he's able to manage each location, wherever he is all from the pro data key app. So, that's the next thing we want to talk to you about is our Pro Data Key app. The Pro Data Key app is very simply, uh, very, you know, very simply put, it is the platform at which you're able to manage everything and be able to provide your, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say here is it is the device at which access control happens. Uh, it, it's it delivers access control at every level. So it's going to be for the installer and the integrator where they're going to be able to manage and configure everything uh, all from their their app. It's going to be at the administrator level, the manager level, where they are going to be able to manage who's got access when and where, be able to give credentials. And then you even have the employee in the tenant level that will be able to use the Pro Data Key app in order to gain access to their doors, right? It's got mobile credentials with it as well. So the Pro Data Key app is out there. It's available for download everywhere. But we've got a little video here that's going to show you a little bit more about how it's used. So you've got the Pro Data Key app here. If I go ahead and click on that, it's going to pull it up. It'll have every one of the locations that you have access to. From there, you can go ahead and click in that. It'll show you the list of doors that you've been given permissions to, which you can see I can then go ahead and favorite specific doors that I want to be saved on my favorite screen. So commonly, uh, you know, you're going to be doing this with doors that you have that you frequently access. Once I go ahead and save all those, I'm going to go down click on the favorites and you'll see all of those favorites there. Then I can go ahead and I can click on any door that I want to be able to unlock, and then it will go ahead and unlock that for us. So we are in a set and good to go. But the other cool thing that we've added into this app is the ability to manage the software as well. So if I go to account and hit toggle that toggle button there next to manage, it'll let me add in my PDKIO login credentials. And then you see that it just now popped up a manage icon down there in the menu. If I click into that, it'll then take us right into PDKIO, which you can go ahead and select your customers, Go ahead and select their locations, their cloud nodes, and then you are officially in the software, ready to go. You can manage it to be able to do anything that you need to do in the software. That's managing any door schedules, managing any credential holders, managing credentials themselves, pulling reports, viewing live events, anything like that. All right? So really cool. And Dallin, how has the Pro Data Key app been received so far from our partners? It's interesting, you know, from when I first got to PDK and we unveiled the 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 app, the evolution has been huge. Um, you know, the, the adoption rate was really low at the beginning, right? Because mobile first access control wasn't really super popular. People wanted to have access on their phone, but they just didn't know that it was available. And the amount of people that use it now, it's, it's 100x when we started. Uh, they're using it to install, to program. They're using it to troubleshoot. They're using it to issue credentials. They're using it to create groups, to even pull super complex reports. The cool thing is, is your life doesn't have to stop as an integrator anymore when there's an issue. You can solve the issue, troubleshoot the issue, pull the reports, and help your customers really fluidly throughout throughout your year and throughout your day. So our partners love the PDK app. We get rave reviews from it, and we're really excited to be able to offer that with our hosting. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, so definitely go out, download that from the App Store. It's uh, you know it's available on both uh, Apple and on Android, uh, available for everybody. So. Really cool, we're excited about that. But one other thing that we are also really excited about is a brand new PDK product as well. And that is our new wristband credentials, right? We've got these fabric yeah. wristband credentials. Sorry, were you wanting to do bones there? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay, yeah, but there we go. I just wanna go. see how stretchy are they? Oh man, if they can get over your biceps that are the size of my thighs, then that's pretty impressive. Oh, wow, this will fit anybody, probably. 
<laughs> Try putting it around your neck. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Anyways, that's where Brock ruined it. Right I ruined the joke. <laughs> anyway, so you can see that it's very uh, flexible. It's a fabric. It's very stylish as well. Uh, so it is a 26-bit Wigan credential there. So it'll be able to work with any one of our readers, any one of our competitors' readers as well. So be looking for this uh, to be dropping in your favorite distributor very soon. Uh, so we're excited about it. Uh, Going to be very common with, uh, you know, in areas that feature active lifestyles. So things like gyms, uh, communities, HOAs, yeah. uh, schools, things like yeah. that. Uh, you know, uh, assisted living facilities too, where people want to have a comfortable, but, but credential that they're not going to lose or drop or set down and leave somewhere. Yeah. So be looking for that very soon. Uh, we're going to be shooting out that e-blast. The marketing team will be uh, very soon, as soon as that gets loaded into the distributions uh, systems, and we'll be able to send those out. So we're really excited about that. But then there is a, you know, another really cool thing about PDK, uh, you know, with new features, new products, things like that, is our automatic updates, right, Don? Yeah, Talk automatic a more updates. About that. I mean, you guys hear us talk. We, we beat this to death, but the value of the cloud is huge. Uh, unfortunately, there's still on-prem systems being installed, and market data is telling us that if you're installing on-prem systems right now, chances are they won't be your customer in three to five years. And, and that's what we want to help our partners avoid, is avoid losing customers, avoid losing partners, and, and really future-proof their companies. And so that's why PDK has doubled down on the cloud. We want to make sure that we are offering and updating and keeping our product ready for the market so that when you go out and offer these, offer PDK to your customers, that it has all the features that they absolutely need. So we're talking about automatic updates. Anybody who's ever used an on-prem system knows that not only does it not update automatically, but when the updates do come around, you're going to have to drop a huge capital expenditure to keep your system up to date. But in the meantime, Trojan horses, viruses, and everything, your system's susceptible. And, and we just don't want people to do that. That's not security. That's not how things should be done. And we know that here at PDK, and that's why we believe in cloud. Yeah. Another thing that's cool about the cloud is the ability to access anywhere, anytime, any device. And another really cool feature that comes with the cloud, cloud is... Connection, connection locking, locking yeah. right? Connection locking is a new update that we have just released. Uh, it, it went out with one of the firmware updates on to every cloud node that's out there. So any of you who are our existing customers who have a cloud node out there, this feature that we're about to show you is currently available for you. Uh, it's connection locking, and we're really excited about this new feature. Uh, it helps to increase the security of your system uh, and each one of your customer systems as well. So uh, let's go ahead and go and watch this video that we've got all about connection locking. Feature drop. Business owners, IT personnel, and security companies all share similar concerns over system security. But with PDK, you never have to worry about vulnerabilities thanks to our advanced connection locking feature. It is used to securely lock the communication connection of any PDK RED controller to your cloud node. This removes the ability to physically change the hardware or the current connection to a cloud node without first unlocking the link. This will also prevent a separate cloud node on the same network from discovering and adding the RED controller to a different system. Initiating controller locking is simple from your ProData Key app. Within configuration, find the Connections tab and choose your desired red controller. Find and select the button titled Connection Unlock. To lock the connection, simply select Lock. The selected red controller will then have its Ethernet communication locked to the cloud node you have installed, adding another layer of security to your mobile first PDK access control system. All right. So one other thing that you, you heard us talking about a little bit earlier is all about partner fanaticism, right? We are partner fanatics here at PDK. Dallin, what does that mean? All, all it means is when you succeed, we succeed. And we know that. The first thing I noticed when I got into the security industry is the impenetrable net of dealer integrators that exist within you know, just the United States alone. And, and they are the partners that have that really good quality relationship with their end user customer. And so instead of bypassing that network or striving to bypass that network for profits, we realize the value of that network. And so we are all about building relationships with our dealer integrators and supporting them and helping them keep their clients. We want to offer you an easy to use, awesome hardware setup and software setup so that you can easily sell it to your customers. But especially within the commercial industry, we understand the complexity of access control. No two doors are really the same. And until that changes, which I don't ever foresee it changes, there's going to be a huge need for expert installers and expert integrators to help support that market. And we understand that here at PDK. Yeah. And one of the, uh, one of the things that we have had requested by our customers a lot is assistance with helping to train the end users, right? And that's a, and because 
we know that's something you guys have wanted. We wanted to make sure that we put something out there as well uh, that helped you guys out with that. And so uh, we, we created a whole series of videos. There's 15 videos out on our YouTube channel that help the end user understand how to program and manage their system from their pro data key app. And so uh, if, for those of you who follow us on social media or follow us on YouTube, you guys have probably seen these videos. They're great. They're short. They're entertaining. Our customers have loved them. We've been getting, uh, you know, rave reviews about them. They're, they're great. And so we wanted to give you guys a little taste of what those are all about so that for, uh, you know, those of you who don't know about this resource, you can go out and start using this to help your customers understand how simple access control can be. So let's go Go ahead and show you this quick little video all about how to add credential holders and uh, credentials to users. Hey, how did the lumberjack gain access to the tree? He hacked his way through. It's time to build rules and assign credentials. That way you are able to tell who you want to give access and who you want to deny access to. Doing this is easy. It can be done from a computer, from a tablet, or from a phone. That means that you can do this while you're running from place to place. You parents of young children know what I mean. Hi. To do this, simply open up your app, click on people, and then go ahead and hit that plus button down in the bottom right corner. You can then add a new credential holder one at a time, or you can do a bulk import if you want. Let's go ahead and just do it one at a time. To do it, enter the user's name, and off we go. First of all, you can actually use your phone to take a photo of that user. So now whenever that user scans their badge, it will show a photo of that user as well. Then if your user needs access during only a certain set of dates, for example, a contracted employee, you can go ahead and set the activation date and the expiration date of their credentials so that they'll only work during that specified time period. You'll also see the option to disable this credential holder by simply toggling the switch. If you toggle that switch, now their credentials won't work and it's gonna deny them access. There's also fields to add in the user's email address if you plan to use mobile credentials. There's also an additional field there for entering in PIN numbers and even an address PIN. Adding a credential to a user is really easy. Just hit that plus button there next to credentials and then you're gonna be able to see the two different types of credentials we've got. The first one is a physical credential where they can go ahead and use a prox card or a key fob to be able to scan at the door and then it will unlock as long as they have permissions to it. The second type is a mobile credential where a user will be able to use their smartphone to be able to unlock the door. Play that B-roll. If you're using a physical credential, simply enter the number that you can find on that card or fob. If you're using mobile credentials, click the mobile tab and then choose the different type of mobile credential that you want. The options are Bluetooth, remote unlock, or even both. After adding the credential, the user is going to get an email where they can finish going ahead and setting up their smartphone as their credential. Next, let's grant the user access to a door. We do this by going to the Rules Engine Builder. To give access to the doors, we first need to set a schedule, set an authentication policy, and then just choose which doors they need access to. You can also add this user to a group, which allows rules to be built out for multiple users at once. But we're gonna cover that in our next video. But that's it. That's how you add a user and give them a credential that will give them access to a specific door. Pretty simple, right? PDK is all about anytime, anywhere access control on any device. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to watch the next video in this series for more how-to instructions. You shall not pass! Oh my God. Well, that's how that, that's all about, right? Being able to show the simplicity of the Pro Data Key app and really how simple it is to manage a Pro Data Key access control system. So be sure to go out there and watch the other 14 videos on our YouTube channel uh, to be able to really see how simple it is. Um, anyways. <laughs> Dallin changed. Yes. This is not Dallin anymore. As you guys can see, Dallin has left us. We now have Bob Gata here. Uh, he is the CEO with Data Display, and he is here to talk to us all about a brand new integration that we've got with their visitor management system. You can see we've got this great unit here in front of us that is one of their, uh, one of their systems. You, you simply walk up, you're gonna be able to, uh, to use the kiosk to check in. You got a little visitor management uh, you know, printer right there, kind of hiding behind my black shirt. We'll see if I can move and get out of the way. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. He's here to talk to us all about it uh, and talk about the integration that we have now got created with this. So Bob, Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is great. This is going to be good. So, yeah. Bob, we'll go ahead and we'll let you kind of take it from here and talking all about who Data Display is and how we integrate with your new Lobby Tech system. Yeah, great. So, um, 
what you should know is Data Display has been in business for over 50 years. We're very much a technology company and we're vertically integrated. And what that means is that we have expertise in both the hardware and the software side of the business. And for the most part, our business has been more in retail technology for point of purchase displays. And we took that technology and all those building blocks and we're applying those economies of scale over to our lobby tech product line for business compliance. So today we're gonna to talk about an introduction to lobby tech, why businesses need the lobby tech product, the ease of the system integration between the two companies, the benefits of a fully integrated system and the lobby tech benefits. I think the best way to display this is with a short video um, showing the use case for lobby tech. Studies have shown that employees prefer the hybrid work model, but what does that mean for office management? Now you can know your building status at a glance with the new Lobby Tech Business Compliance Kiosk. Personnel are greeted by digital signage, company messages, or a welcome video. The system streamlines the process of entry reception management. Employees can use facial recognition or an employee badge to instantly sign in. Lobby Tech fully integrates with your existing door access systems, automatically granting entry for authorized personnel. Our advanced pre-registration system allows hosts to register a visitor before they arrive. Guests will be sent an automated email with instructions. Visitors can answer customizable screening questions including vaccination status, watch mandatory videos, and sign important documents, all before they arrive. Once at your building, visitors use a QR code for touchless entry. Lobby Tech optionally takes the guest's temperature for compliance and then prints a visitor's badge. Our system uses email, text, Slack, or a combination of all three to notify your employee when their visitor has arrived. Delivery drivers have a separate screen that allows them to easily alert your employee when they arrive. With Lobby Tech's unique back-end system, remote personnel can talk with a visitor through the Lobby Tech terminal. This allows a receptionist at a remote location to assist visitors in any of your buildings. The dashboard is user-friendly, allowing you to search and sort through a list of people who have entered your building. You can also create custom access, allowing managers to only see the activity of the personnel that they are responsible for. Lobby Tech syncs with your Active Directory, eliminating the need for multiple databases and ensuring your employee information is always up to date. The system is customizable to accommodate individual state and local health guidelines. You can track your employee's vaccination status and send automated reminders based on your company's policies. Lobby Tech can send out instant emergency alerts to everyone currently in your building. State-of-the-art entry control and compliance starts here with Lobby Tech Business Compliance Kiosks. Call or email us to find out more. So thanks for watching the video. You know, as you see, there's a lot of options with the Lobby Tech system. One of the things that wasn't on that video that we've added recently is at the top, you know, the license scanning, driver license scanning we now have, which then also lends itself to do not enter lists. So both internal do not enter lists and external do not enter lists, third party do not um, enter lists are also part of this. What you'll see here is some of those are in orange and the others are in white. Um, the ones indicated in white, like touchless sign-in, delivery notifications, integration with access control, the pre-registrations, all of those come with the basic package. And the ones in orange are an add-on, and that's more of the executive package, which includes those companies that still want to do temperature screening, visitor screening um, for questions and uh, compliance questions, and also video calls. So for example, with this, for multi-tenant use, um, it does have that video call option, which you saw in the video as well. Um, and we've just, we do have a really great dashboard, which you can download any of the information into an Excel file for record keeping and things like that. On the next slide, um, you'll see basically the different bundles. We do have a, a promotional bundle 
that takes place. From a software perspective, that has everything with the exception of the video calling. And then we have a basic bundle and an executive bundle. And both basic bundles and executive bundles come not just with the desktop, but also with the stand. And it's really related to, again, that software package where if you're not asking or need the temperature screening or the questions, you're more inclined to have the basic bundle. And if you want everything, you can go with the executive bundle for that. The first year licensing is included with the hardware sale. And after the first year, it's the monthly recurring model through the dealer or integrator. So why do businesses need lobby tech? And really it comes out of the pandemic. So first the pandemic and then the results of the pandemic with regard to the hybrid workforce, which was really accelerated some of these business demands. And what that really entailed was the need for more robust insight and control regarding who is on site. And with the hybrid workforce, you want to know who's on site, even if you're not on site. And with Lobby Tech, you can do that through a dashboard. Um, even those uh, personnel who may not, might not have access to the PDK.io will still have access to know who's on their site at any time. The other advent of both the hybrid workforce and the pandemic was the need to mitigate risk. So after the pandemic and through the hybrid workforce, security concerns became a you know, really great concern and businesses were obligated to make sure that um, their facilities were secure in this situation. So the idea of integrating with access control is really perfect for a lobby management and access control system. They also need to maintain a very healthy work environment. So deter um, infected individ individuals from entering the facility and also provide the option of providing contact tracing in the event non-symptomatic people or, in or individuals are entering the building. There's a couple other things as far as lobby tech and why businesses need lobby tech. So first of all, this is a new and expanding market growth. In fact, visitor management systems are expected to grow from 1.1 billion to 2.3 billion by 2026. That's about a 17% compounded annual growth rate. The lobby tech is very customizable. So you can customize it depending on the area that you're in, in the regions and the welcome policies and health policies for that very specific area. And it also provides an add-on sales opportunity for the integrators and dealers for client base. And these visitor management systems extend across a lot of different vertical markets, residential and senior care, healthcare, pharmaceutical, food processing, manufacturing, and also multi-tenant use. So let's talk about how easy it is to integrate between lobby tech and PDK, your PDK system. On the left-hand side, you'll see the lobby tech user interface. And on the right-hand side is the traditional PDK user interface that you'll see. And we did make this very easy where all you need to do is take the cloud node for that location and populate it in the box um, on the lobby tech user interface. Put in the door ID, put in how many seconds you want the door to be um, open, and it's fully integrated system. So it is really, really easy to integrate the two systems. Now that you have it integrated, uh, we'll go on to the next, which is now you want to be able to map fields between the lobby tech system and the PDK.io system. The reason that we did this is because we don't want people to have to learn two systems. If you know and you're familiar with the PDK IO and you just want to use that system, continue to use that system and Lobby Tech will populate the information into that and then extract that information back from PDK into the Lobby Tech system. There might be instances, if you notice on the left-hand side where there are check boxes and you've checked out everything, there might be instances where only certain people have access to information, like at the bottom of the screen where it's COVID vaccination status um, and who can accept deliveries and not accept deliveries. Those could remain unchecked. And then that information could be populated by the health and safety or an HR person who might only be privy to that information. So again, it's very customizable from that standpoint. Also, it will automatically put the customized fields into the PDK IO, and then you can populate the customized fields in PDK IO. So that's a really you know, great benefit for using that.
So now that you have everything integrated, you know, there's a real um, instance here where employees go through different entrances than visitors, um, or employees might not have to go through all of the screenings that a visitor has to go through. However, when you get to things, for example, emergency alerts and emergency controls, um, you want to be able to know everybody who's in your building at any point in time. And one of the ways to do that is Lobby Tech will, at, will automatically take the reader information, the badge reader information uh, for the employees, and you can designate what, which entrances you want. So on the right hand of the screen, you can check the boxes of those readers that you want Lobby Tech to um, basically record. And that way you've got complete control of every visitor and every employee that's in your business or location. If an emergency happens, notifications go out through text, through email, through text and email, um, and even Slack. Um, and that way everyone's accounted for. You can go to the mustering location. Um, since it's a cloud-based system, uh, you can just take your phone and you can check off everyone. Everything is date and time stamped. And now you have a complete record for any agency that needs that in an emergency location. So this goes right through from putting in the customized fields to the um, actual readers that you have. I think the other important thing to know here is that the visitor management system is the front end. We're not making the allow deny decisions for opening the door. That's really done through the PDK system. So we're collecting all the information. And yes, if there's um, a person who's on an internal do not enter list or a third party do not enter list, we'll notify whoever needs to be notified in that case discreetly, and they can come out and handle the problem. But for a traditional employee, um, you know, going through the system, the access control, you know, PDK.io is actually making that allow deny decision. Um, so let's talk about the benefits of the fully integrated system. You know, I, I think one nice thing is, is if you're accustomed to using the PDK user interface, continue to use that. And Lobby Tech will pull the information from that so that now the office staff that don't typically have access to security software, they can use all of the features of the Lobby Tech. So they can pre-register a visitor coming in for touchless entry. If, if they need that visitor to watch a safety video or sign a no, non-disclosure agreement, that can all go through the Lobby Tech system. Also, if there's an emergency, there's a host of different um, customized emergency alerts that you can put on the system. A touch of a button, everybody in your facility, visitors and employees are automatically notified, instantly notified, and then again, accounted for. And then finally, you can have two sets or two streams. Employees can use an outside door with an outside reader to go through. Visitors can use a different entrance and that can all be contained within Lobby Tech. So we're capturing, again, everyone in that building. Um, so also we're a cloud-based system and I think that's important to know too. Um, again, if you're, if you're gonna run out in an emergency, everyone's going to grab their phone um, for that, and now you have a list of everyone, everyone on that system. So with that, I'll, oh, there's one more. So the Lobby Tech benefits, again, from a reduced cost standpoint, you know who's on site, right? Um, and it increases efficiency and flexibility. You do have the do not enter, so you can enforce compliance, which is a you know, big key now with the hybrid workforce, and mitigating risks. So again, there's a huge demand on companies, not only mitigating risk, but having the documentation to prove that they've mitigated risk. So now's the real thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, what did I do? All right. Well, We're live. We're back. That was really weird. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody.
I was just about to type into the chat technical difficulties, everybody, but uh, hey, welcome back to the PDK Live broadcast. We're excited to have you back for part two, uh, also known as the Q&A session. So that was, uh, <laughs> Dallin just commented, and there was darkness, Ray Schmick, Houston. So uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, but we're back. We're live. Let's, let's keep rolling here. So anyways, that's a really cool integration. Uh, Thank that, you. That's really cool. We're excited about everything that it is and how simple it is to be able to integrate it. Because, you know, as, as you said, visitor management is something that is drastically growing, right? It is something that is a lot of people are requesting it. And, uh, and that's the reason why it all came about. I mean, we talked a little bit about uh, this. We, we filmed a podcast yesterday and, uh, and recorded it for, uh, for those of you who like to listen to podcasts and not just watch them. But in that, you, you mentioned something kind of cool. Uh, you mentioned how you guys came up with this because data display has been in the, uh, you know, in, in digital dis signage for ever, right? It's like, Absolutely. Well, like 50 years? 50 years. In fact, if you walk into Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and you interact with a display on the shelf, you are most likely interacting with, with data display electronics. Yeah. That's uh, cool. It is. And these guys are tried. They're true. They're, uh, you know, they're one of the best uh, in the industry for sure. He was telling me that we can actually drop this thing 10 feet and it won't, uh, won't have anything happen. So we're going to go try it at 15 feet to, uh, to really try its, uh, try well, its true test. That's the other thing is, you know, if you can consider a retail environment where you've got like eight and nine year olds, you know, hitting the screen um, and that has to be reliable for three to five years in that store, you know, we maintain an extremely low infield failure yeah. rate. Less than 0.02%. That's insane. That is so cool. Yeah. So anyways, well, we talk more about this on the Big Access podcast. If you're not familiar with the Big Access podcast, that is Pro Data Key's new podcast. It's been out now for a couple of months. Uh, you can find it on any of the big podcast uh, platforms, you know, your Apple, your Google, your Amazon, uh, Spotify, all that good stuff. We also have it on our YouTube channel where we record it in a setting just like this. So this, the episode with Bob is going to be dropping here in a couple of weeks. Be sure to check that out. We talk a lot more about uh, in depth about who Data Display is, how they got their start, and how they came up with lobby tech and uh you know and, and how they're a great solution so uh be watching for that well bob it is now officially time for the q a session right. so we have been getting a bunch of uh, a bunch of questions uh in the chat which is fantastic i love that uh keep them coming in the chat we do uh we are on a little bit of a a delay here so if i you know do it and then we'll, we'll get to it as soon as we can but the first question that we've got here is uh well, first off, it's a comment from uh, from Drew. I always have to mention my buddy Drew out there. Drew and I have a great relationship, and he's always poking fun at me. But this is actually a compliment from Drew, so I like that. He says, you guys are rad to show that you're okay with the weed industry. So many companies won't show that they are tied to it. Good on you and smart move. And, you know, it's... We, we, we love our partners, right? We're partner fanatics over here, like Dallin was saying. We want to make sure that uh, everybody is... Uh, is having the resources they need to be able to protect the life and property. And that does, that includes any type of industry. So we're excited about that. Uh, the next question that we've got from Michael Olson, are the bands waterproof? Referring to these wristbands. And the answer is yes. We actually took these wristbands in the testing phase and we submerged them underwater for a week straight and then went and used it while it was soaking wet and everything works fine. So yes, they are absolutely waterproof, which then goes on to answer Arlene Freeman's question is, can the bracelet be used in a pool? And yes, it definitely can. Like uh, we were saying, submerged for a week. Hopefully you're not submerged in a pool for a week, but uh, if so, you'll still be able to use your credential to, uh, to get out of the building. So pretty cool there. Um, another question on these bracelets, what type of read range can you get with the new bracelet? Uh, it is like your standard prox credential or, or your key fob. So you got to get it fairly close to the reader. Uh, you know, most of the time you're going to touch the reader with it and it'll be good to go. But if you're, uh, you know, if you're half an inch to an inch, it usually can be read that way as well. Uh, let's see, uh, Chicago security systems. Thank you for the compliment. He says, impressive program so far, guys. Really interesting. We take, uh, we take everything we do here. Very, uh, serious at PDK. We are a very serious, uh, group of guys. There's no humor, no comedy anywhere, but, uh, no, no, really. We, we like to have a good time. We, we like to put some realism and some life into this industry. Uh, but we are very good at what we do. Uh, we are, we're definitely professionals and we like producing quality products for you guys, because again, we're partner fanatics. We do this for you. Um, Dallin looks different. Mm -hmm. He does. He looks better in my opinion. He's uh, he, if, for those of you who have ever met Dallin in person, he's six foot nine and will dwarf you. He's a, uh, he's, he's a terrifying specimen. Uh, so this is, you know, an, a normal sized human being next to me is 
much, uh, you know, it's a welcome, a welcome surprise. I will say that. Um, Jeff Morales says Bluetooth or remote unlock talking about the pro data key app. Uh, and so it actually does both. Uh, so the Bluetooth capabilities is where the cell phone, let me grab my phone here. This is where you can go ahead and just hold that up to the reader itself and it will use the Bluetooth signal itself to unlock the door. It also has the capability to, from that Pro Data Key app, hit the button, hit the uh, the door that you have been given permissions to, to unlock that door and it will then unlock it that way. So two different types of mobile credentials inside the Pro Data Key app. It will do whatever the manager or the administrator has told it to do. It can do both. It can do one or the other. So pretty cool. Hopefully that helps answer that question and clarify that a little bit for you, Jeff. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, is it possible to only open a door when using a phone credential where the customer's phone has been unlocked? The idea is that an employee's phone can, uh, can only be used as a credential by the device owner. This is a great idea. I really like this idea. It is not something that is currently supported with us. Uh, however, we do want to make sure that we uh, can add this into the backlog, and we'd love to get some more uh, assistance or uh, some more input from you as well. So, uh, Anthony, if you don't mind sending a email over to me, that would be awesome. Just send it to marketing at prodatakey.com. Send me, uh, you know, kind of what you would like to see with that. I will get that over to my product and engineering team, and they can take a look at it and add it into our backlog. That's one of the other really cool things about being a PDK partner with us. When you're a certified partner with PDK, you actually help determine our roadmap over here. So uh, you help, you guys are the ones who are out there in the industry seeing what's going on, seeing what the end users are demanding. And so we want to make sure that we are helping you guys be successful with that as well. So anytime that you guys have new feature updates, please feel free to reach out to your reps. Uh, you know, If you don't know who your rep is, you can go out and find that on our website. Or you can also email me, marketing at prodeakey.com, and we We'll be, I'll be able to get that directed uh, right where that needs to go. Great suggestion, though, Anthony. I love it. Um, let's see. Uh, MK Consulting is uh, throwing shade at Dallin. He's Dallin 2.0 here is looking beefier. <laughs> um, so that's awesome. Uh, race, here, here's some really cool stuff about uh, data display. Ray that's Smick great. says, this looks like even a monkey could do this. Yes. We so. made it. <laughs> Listen, we made it really intuitive, really easy, and it was easy for us to do it because of how great the PDK software is mm -hmm. in application and what your development team has done with it made our job much easier. Well, that's good. Our, our, our team, again, we, we love to make it easy and simple for everybody out there, right? We're partner fanatics. I mean, we've built our whole premise on being an intuitive platform, so why not build the integrations the exact same way? Yeah. I mean, we want to be able to have it uh, be something that everybody can do. Um, so pretty cool there. Let's see. Dallin is trying to throw uh, shade back at MK. We're not even going to get into that fight. You can go through the chat and read that yourself. Um, but uh, let's see. We've got... Uh... <laughs> Who is Bob's favorite PDK team member? I'm pretty sure that's me. Um, yeah. Well, it has to be Jordan. Too. Oh, oh, Jordan behind, <laughs> the, camera. behind the camera. Okay, <laughs> I will accept that answer. Um, all right, well, let's see here. Uh, we've got what format will the bracelets be in? These are going to be 26-bit, uh, you know, format here. So uh, you'll be you'll be good to go. Weekend uh, communication. Uh, we have the system and the keypad sometimes beeps by itself. Uh, call into our tech support uh, staff. There's probably a little short in the wire. Uh, they'll be able to help you diagnose that and be able to get that taken care of. Another really cool thing about our tech support team is they answer 80% of our phone calls in 20 seconds or less. That's a pretty big deal in this industry. Many of you guys who are familiar with other manufacturer lines are probably pretty familiar with the whole, hey, leave a message. We're going to call you back within 24 hour type deal or sitting on hold for two hours. That's just not acceptable in this industry right when you guys are out there on a job site you guys are uh, it's a stressful situation if something's not going right uh you know especially if you get the end user hovering over your shoulder looking at you being like did i really hire the right guy it's your reputation at stake here and that is not something that we want to uh, have you guys you know be stressed out about and so it's one of our goals here at pdk to answer 80 percent of our phone calls in 20 seconds or less and we absolutely reach that uh, support criteria here at pdk and the other really cool thing is we uh, we were able to solve majority of situations in seven minutes or less so instead of sitting on hold for three hours waiting for your tech support to answer it you will wait on hold for 20 seconds and then be ready to go in seven minutes so in under 10 minutes you can have all of your situations taken care of it's pretty big it's what we're all about here pdk partner fanaticism and uh, delivering awesome support uh so pretty cool there um let's see jeff morales 
Uh, looks like that did help clarify it for him, so I'm, uh, that's uh, really good. He's also asking if we have geofencing, and that is another project that is on the backlog. So we were talking earlier about uh, about the you know, the automatic updates and what is, uh, you know, all the new features that we're able to push out to the cloud. And so with that, you should see our backlog. We've got so many great projects that we are working on right now, uh, active projects that are about to come out. Geofencing is one of them. So we're really excited about that. Be watching for that here soon. Um, let's see. We've got, uh, we've also got questions. How does somebody go about purchasing data display or the lobby tech? Lobby tech. You know, we are aligning our sales channel um, with PDK sales channel. So uh, the same manufacturers, representatives, uh, the same distributors, we're really aligning one for one. Our, and I have to say, we are equally committed to the sales channel. Yeah. We will, you will not compete with data display. And I think we're the only visitor management system that does not sell direct. I think you're the only one I know of. Yeah, I think so. We're very committed to the channel. Um, and very committed to aligning our sales channel with yours. And it's really cool. Like he was saying, we've got a lot of the same manufacturers reps there and a lot of the same distributors that you'll find PDK in. So when you guys are ready to go and purchase a data display, you know, first off, you can reach out to their sales team and, and get it yeah. fully acquainted with it, right? What we've shown you today is just a little teaser of who data display and lobby tech is. Uh, so go ahead and get fully acquainted. Find the, pro find the platform that's going to be best for you and for your customer. And uh, they'll be able to get you guys in contact with a one of your local distributors to be able to get everything up and running. And then, as you guys saw earlier, the integration between PDK and data display can't be easier. Yeah. So really excited about that. Um, let's see. We have, uh, we've got another uh, couple other questions here. Uh, Bob says, I'm an end user health club. We use this for our members to enter. Is there a camera security system that integrates? We do have some camera system integrations. Uh, so we work with Digital Watchdog. We work with Hanwha WiseNet, and we also, uh, let's see, and Rhombus Systems is the other one that we're working with. And we've got a couple other ones that we're really, really excited about that are about to be dropping here very soon. Uh, so pay attention to those. But in the meantime, definitely look at Digital Watchdog, Hanwha, and, uh, and Rhombus Systems too. So pretty cool there. Uh, do you plan on an integration with Hike Vision? Uh, is another question. At this moment, we do not. Um, you know, there's... Yeah, there's been a lot going on with Hike Vision, uh, you know, in this industry that, uh, you know, not to not to knock on them or anything, but that's uh, it's been something that we're we're not uh, in talks with about them or with them uh, at, at the moment. So, um, looks like that is all of our questions. Uh, praying for VivoTech race mix says so. Um, you know, be be uh, be watching. Uh, so that's all I'll say about that one. Does Brock like Mariah Carey? Jordan, Jordan behind the camera. He is, he's t officially turned into a, a Christmas uh, mode over here at PDK. And I'm also, I'm the kind of guy who's like, Hey, let Thanksgiving have its day. I need football and food. And, uh, and so Jordan's yeah. sitting here, uh, you know, talking about Mariah Carey. He literally plays it in our, in our marketing standups every day. So Jordan, the answer is after Christmas, I like Mariah Carey, but until then, no. Yeah, you're, you're well aware of that. Anyways, looks like that is all of the questions that we've been given so, uh, you know, on this broadcast. I hope this was a very educational broadcast for you. I hope that we've been able to answer your questions. Uh, I hope that you guys have, uh, you know, generated some interest in visitor management and wanting to learn more. So, Ray, uh, Ray, I, I just read Ray on here. Uh, yeah. So, Bob, how does somebody go ahead about getting a hold of you? I know we, they've got the, the reps and whatnot, but is sure. there any other way that they can get a hold of you guys? Of course. You know, we have a, our websites, www.dd-usa.com. Um, you can find us there, or you can go to the PDK website, actually, yep. and under the integration partners, we're actually right there. In, in, yeah, uh, that's right. So if you go to, uh, if you go right to the, uh, the, in the partner section of prodatakey.com, you go right down to the, or sorry, you go to system, and then there you're going to see the integrations. We've got a list of all of our integrations right there, data displays in there. We're going to be having a custom landing page that we are working on as we speak, so that'll be available very soon. But in the meantime, the link for that does take you to your website yeah. as well. Great. So pretty cool. Well, uh, well, oh, looks like we may have had a couple other questions come in. We'll answer these and then we'll go ahead and, uh, and come go off air. Um, it looks like any progress on controllers having full database in case of a, uh, in case of a total uh, connectivity loss. Uh, so that is one of those that is uh, happening right now. So uh, be watching for that. So we're excited about that. Um, all right. Well, there we go. I think that's, uh, that's all of them. If we didn't, if we, if somehow I missed something going down the line, again, you can ask the question by either reaching out to your sales rep 
Email me, marketing at prodatakey.com. I'll be able to get you guys taken care of. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for jumping on this PDK Live broadcast. We love you guys as our partners. We are partner fanatics here. Uh, you know, when we succeed, you guys succeed. So please let us know if there's anything else we can do for you guys. But thank you so much. You guys have a great day.